All right, how's everybody doing out there in Math Magic Land? This is Mr. Muscarella, and in this video, we're going to look at our third and final example of writing a polynomial given its zeros. And of course, these zeros are rational ones. They're not crazy. They're not irrational. They're just rational. So, all right, let's go. Let's see what we got to work with. All right, so we've already done two examples. So if you haven't seen those, make sure you go ahead and take a look at those in the other videos. Now on this one, it says our polynomial it has zeros uh, of zero, one, and negative two. So when we write this, so the very first thing we're gonna do, of course, is go ahead and write our function. They tell us it's f of x, so we're gonna use f of x. Now f of x equals zero, so remember that's that tricky one. That's just gonna be x. And then the x equals one gives us the zero x minus one. And then there's the zero of x equals negative two. Remember, flip the sign. That's gonna give us x plus two. So that right there is my factored form. That's that first thing that I want. Now, what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna take these two guys right here, these two terms, my two binomials, and I'm gonna find their product. So that second step is where I'm gonna use the distributive property on that. So the distributive property I'm gonna use with the two binomials. So I'm still gonna have the x on the outside, so f of x equals x. Now when you distribute that, so I'm gonna put a big beefy bracket around the x minus one, x plus two quantity. So when I multiply that through, I'll get x squared, and then I'll have a minus one x, minus one x, and then a plus two x, and again, that order doesn't matter, and then lastly, we're gonna have minus two. So we're gonna have all of that when we distribute, when we FOIL uh, that together, and that's going to give us, so a lot. again, a lot of times people can kind of skip that step, in which case you would just have x squared plus x minus two. And then the last thing I'm gonna do is then I'm gonna take the x that is on the outside, and I'm gonna distribute that into each one of the terms on the inside of the parentheses. That's gonna give me x cubed, plus an x squared minus a two x. And that very last part right there, so that is going to be the standard form. And again, remember standard form written from highest to lowest degree uh, is what standard form is. So, and that's what I've got there. So my final answer in standard form is just going to be x cubed plus x squared minus two x. And again, now don't forget fourth step, we always, 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 you know, we wanna check it. So if I go into Desmos, I'm gonna put two things in there. Remember, our two things, one of them is gonna be my original factored form that I had, and then the last thing is going to be my standard form. So go ahead and pause the video, get those entered into Desmos, and then let's check and see how we did. Now, this is pretty cool, because remember, Desmos has this really awesome feature where if I click on one of the graphs, it'll give me the zero. So I can see one of them is at zero, zero, so the coordinate I'm looking at is the x value. If I look over here, I've got one zero. So x equals one was my other zero. And then of course over here I had a zero of negative two. So all of those things match up with both my factored form and the final version of the standard form. And I know they're exactly the same. So if I wanted to kind of, here's another way you can kind of check. If I wanted to change that to a table and take the first one, again, go up to the gear icon, change that to a table. If I look at the table, my table of values, they're identical for the same x values. So my table of values, let me get that out the way. So you can see where the table of values is the exact same. And if I were to change negative two to say negative 10, I get negative 880. So let me go down to my other function and make that one negative 10. And hey, look, I get the same value. So boom, we did it right. We've checked ourselves. We're not wrecking ourselves. We, you're happy, I'm happy. Everybody's happy, woo. All right, so peace out. You guys have a great day and I will catch you later.